I am Dr. Sharjeen and uh, if you remember yesterday's topic I showed you a case of limbal vernal keratoconjunctivitis and I also told you that the other type is palpebral vernal keratoconjunctivitis with giant papillary conjunctival reaction. So that pictures were from yesterday's case and now today this 30 years old working woman presented to me with foreign body sensation in the right eye she said the foreign body is in the upper lid because when i close my eye the foreign body rub against my eye and i feel pain watering and foreign body sensation so when i inverted the right upper lid as you can see in the video i found giant papillae giant papillary reaction in the conjunctiva so i asked her do you use contact lenses and she said yes and then told me that the foreign body sensation increases especially after contact lens wear and she wears part time not always so i diagnosed her as a case of contact lens giant papillary conjunctivitis the other diagnosis is vkc unburied sutures exposed buccal so we have also uploaded a video on giant papillary conjunctivitis in detail on my channel you can scroll down in my videos and you can found but today's video is about how to differentiate papillary conjunctival reaction from follicular reaction so if you remember so when never you encounter a patient with red eye itchy watery and foreign body sensation make your habit to avoid the upper lids and see the palpebral conjunctiva and also check inferior fornicial conjunctiva as well now in order to differentiate papillae from follicles how follicles look here you are seeing these white lesions white opacities these multiple whitish transparent discrete elevated lesions resembling grain translucent grains of rice they are most prominent in the inferior furnaces followed by upper palpebral conjunctiva now blood vessels if you see blood vessels run around the follicles whereas in papillae a vascular coal is present vessel runs into the mass of the papillae whereas blood vessels run around the follicles <coughs> Follicles are aggregates of lymphoid tissue with central immature lymphocytes and mature cells peripherally. Follicles are present in viral, chlamydial conjunctivitis, perinodes, ocular glandular syndrome and hypersensitivity to topical medications. So these are the examples and now come to the papillae. Now they are present most frequently in superior palpebral conjunctiva and then limbal conjunctiva and you will not found papillae elsewhere you can see here in the picture in this patient the papillae now what are the papillae they are the folds of the hyperplastic conjunctival epithelium with a fibrovascular cord they looks like a tiny dot like elevations as micro papillae and here these are the macro papillae which are less than one millimeter whereas giant papillae are more than one millimeter giant papillae are also there so papillary reaction is examples of the papillary reaction are allergic conjunctivitis most frequently followed by contact lens wear like in this case bacterial conjunctivitis superior limbal keratoconjunctivitis and floppy eyelid syndrome like some patients will tell you a fatty patient that when they sleep the upper lid evers automatically so they suffer from floppy eyelid syndromes so and you can clearly see the difference in the conjunctiva of follicular reaction as well as palpebral reaction papillary reaction so i hope that after watching this video you will be able to differentiate follicles from papillae you will be able to differentiate the different causes of papillae and follicles and you can reach the exact diagnosis i hope this video is helpful 
if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much